here we are discuss about a project design and implementation of efficient streaming deblocking and SEO filter for HEVC decoder. This paper presents a FPGA implementation of mixed pipeline architectures and parallel processing for deblocking filter and SAO architectures in high efficiency video coding. That means a HEVC. Okay, so in this paper aims to develop the HEVC architectures in low latency with increases throughput and reduce the number of processing cycles with using edge filtering method of modified horizontal and vertical boundaries. Okay, so this paper presents a block size of uh, uh, deblocking filters and SAO filters in 64 cross 64 samples. Okay, so here they are given architectures in figure 2 okay so this is a deblocking filter and SAO hardware architectures okay so we are taken two more base paper regarding uh, as a reference okay so this is one of the base paper design of streaming deblocking filter for HEVC decoder so this paper also they are worked with the 64 cross 64 samples okay so here they are given this architecture in figure 5 uh, this block diagram represents uh, uh, the input buffer unit horizontal buffering and the vertical buffering and the control unit okay so here this input buffer will load the input uh, uh, bs qp and uh, qpq and the mvx and the mey chroma flag and beta tc qp okay so this input buffer will work down 36 cross 36 uh, image sizes okay so this 36 cross 36 will load it into as a edge filter of 4 cross 4 okay here they are used nine edge filters okay so based upon 36 cross 36 okay so this edge filters uh, will process the data after it will be loaded into the buffer and the transpose process okay so after this completion of transpose process the data will be loaded into again uh, the memory buffer afterwards the vertical filtering will call the data and the edge filters uh, will walk down 4 cross 4 okay so after this edge filtering uh, the data will move on again transpose okay this is a horizontal transpose and this one is a vertical transpose okay after the vertical transpose completed the data will move on the output ram okay so this is the process of hevc deblocking and seo architectures okay so how we can do this edge filtering okay so we are taken uh, this paper a yeah, deblocking filter hardware architecture for high efficiency video coding standard this paper will contain all the conditions uh, that means uh, uh, no filter weak filter strong filters okay so initially we need to take a 4 class 4 block as per this architecture okay so this is a boundary of 4 plus 4 block p and q okay so based upon this block p and block q we are taken the values okay so we are showing the examples so this is a 32 cross 32 image sizes of uh, pixel values we are drawn as uh, examples okay so here we are taken as a p and q okay so here we are split this box as a 4 cross 8 okay so so this parameters we are called p 3 comma 0 2 comma 0 1 comma 0 0 comma 0 and q comma 0 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 this header line and footer line will helpful to uh, calculate the boundary okay after this 4 plus 4 block we are need to check the conditions okay so we are follow this flow chart okay deep blocking filter flow and filtering decisions okay so initially we need to start and we need to check a PU and a TU boundary okay and again we need to check a boundary strength okay so again we need to check a conditions okay the first conditions and second third four five six seven conditions so based upon this conditions it will be true means we need to apply strong filter okay so if the conditions is false we need to check the condition 9 for apply normal filter Q0 and this one for apply uh, normal filter and modified with p0 and p1 uh, for uh, p0 filters okay and uh, these conditions they are given here okay so this figure 6 will show the merged data path of conditions uh, uh, like uh, uh, conditions 1 2 3 8 9 okay and uh, <coughs> 
this is the conditions of 4 6 10 something okay so after this condition part we need to apply the filtering okay one is a strong filters another one is a normal filters and additional one is no filter so this is a data path for normal and strong filtering operations okay so this architectures uh, for delta 0 and delta 0s and p1 1s and q1 2s okay so this architectures will support uh, uh, for filtering the deblocking filters so after this edge filtering we need to transpose right so here the transpose functions we need to change the address okay so 0 1 2 3 okay so this is the initial addressing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is a 0 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 okay so we will transpose all the things okay then we will store into the memory we are written in the proposed abstract documents okay so this is a base paper abstract okay so this is an enhancement to design a high efficiency method of deblocking and a save filter for hevc decoder in block size of 30 one is the 32 plus 32 and another one is 64 plus 64 okay so the proposed title is fpg implementation of video coding standard with the efficient streaming deblocking filter and sao for hevc decoder okay so in the proposed architecture uh, will present a mixed pipeline architectures and condition based filter decisions with multiple coding tree unit uh, size of 64 cross 64 and 32 cross 32 and 4 cross 4 sorry 4 cross 8 and 8 cross 4 block sizes this architecture is on FPGA platform and compared with the state of uh, the literatures and uh, conclude the proposed work with a 64 cross 64 block size finally uh, this design developed in Verilog HDL and synthesized in uh, Vertex uh, FPGA okay, and compared all the terms uh, of area, delay and power. Okay. So this is the existing system part and disadvantages, proposed system. Okay. And uh, so this is a proposed architecture. And uh, all the details we are given here. Okay, so this is uh, our work uh, in this method of HVC deblocking filter of 32 cross 32 architecture. Okay, so this architecture we are followed. Okay, in this architecture of uh, that paper, they are given edge filter is nine right sets because they are used 36 cross 36. But here we are developed only 32 cross 32. So based upon that, uh, we are called the edge filters is only eight. Okay, so one, two, eight, and D multiplexes we are an additionally called okay to transpose the data by one by one of H filters. Okay, so we need to call that D multiplexes, and initially we are called a multiplexes uh, regarding to split the four plus four for one by one. Okay, so and transpose functions and transpose data will loaded into the block memory. Okay, so finally uh, this block memory data uh, will loaded into again. Uh, uh, the edge filtering of uh, vertical part okay so this uh, vertical filter also have uh, one two three and eight uh, number of edge filters and the multiplexer transpose okay so uh, this part uh, we are developed in Verilog HTL this is done designing software and simulated in modelism okay this is a coding part of uh, Verilog HTML. Okay, so we will call the MATLAB output of hexadecimal file here, input image uh, dot hex. Okay, and uh, this is a CB. We are uh, also done with a chroma flag uh, CB and CR. Okay, so this is a CB file and uh, this one is a CR file. Okay, so again we need to write a code for output writer. So we are again writing the code for file writing and CB and CR. Okay, this is a test bench for 64 cross 64. Okay, so we are called all the memories on here. Okay, we are not integrated any memories in the design. Okay, so why? Because uh, we need to synthesize this code on cadence. Okay, so it's also support right. So this is a top block uh, of 64 cross 64. Okay, so instead of this top block, we are uh, called the input buffer 64 64 cross 64 and deblocking filter of 32 cross 32 and the control unit of 64 cross 64 okay so this is a control 64 cross 64 uh, coding okay 
and this is a deblocking filter of 32 cross 32 okay so for this 32 deblocking filter of 32 cross 32 uh, it will have uh, the input buffer unit and uh, horizontal filtering and the input buffer unit for uh, vertical filtering okay and uh, this is a vertical filtering code okay so this is the input buffer unit here we are given the output as uh, bs beta and uh, tc okay these are outputs are we are given okay for this uh, uh, boundary strength calculations uh, uh, we will call the uh, one table this is a beta tc table okay so these things we are uh, taken as a reference from friends from this paper edn understanding and loop filtering in the hevc video standard okay so this paper will they are given uh, this beta table calculations okay lumo strong and weak filtering okay so this is a beta table and tc table okay so we are taken this and uh, yeah as per this we are coded here okay so this bs calculation code and uh, horizontal vertical filtering code this horizontal vertical filtering uh, it will have uh, the eight edge filtering okay so initially multiplexers and uh, edge filter one edge filter two three four five six seven eight and uh, this is a demultiplexer and uh, finally transpose okay so this is a transpose block architecture okay so based upon this excel sheet okay so we are plotted these address values on uh, here okay so this is a edge filtering code so inside of this edge filter we will call the addition making and the filtering samples two codes okay so this is a multiplexes and demultiplexes and this is a controller code and uh, these are all code for condition block 2 condition block 1 okay decision making okay it will cover the condition block 1 2 and a controller okay so condition block 1 will generate a condition for 1 2 3 8 9 and condition block 2 will generate a 3 sorry 4 5 6 7 10 and filtering samples okay so this will make a decision uh, regarding the strong filter normal filter and uh, zero filter that means a uh, no filter okay so this is a normal data path code normal data path uh, filtering one and q1 and filter delta zero and delta one and filter data path okay so everything will completed uh, in the code okay so this is a uh, next part of simulation okay this is a simulation part we are done here okay so initially we are read out uh, the data from the test bench memories okay so after that we are process the data to the internal uh, edge filtering and io buffers okay all the things okay so uh, this uh, method we are how we are we can call means uh, we will called 32 cross 32 block separate separately okay so in the 64 cross 64 block says uh, the first 32 cross 32 we are called initially and uh, second 32 cross 32 and third fourth okay we are split at four uh, blocks as a 32 cross 32 we are loaded into that code okay and uh, uh, we are <clears throat> need to load uh, the CB and CR right uh, okay so it will take uh, additional two okay so first one second one third one fourth one and CB CR okay so totally we are loaded uh, all the blocks okay so these are the image data okay so P02 PQ33 okay these are all the data okay so this uh, will give the output on here okay so this is a control 64 plus 64 and transpose block finally after the transpose we need to write a 
file writing right that process will done on here inside of this things uh, it will have a lot of uh, coding okay uh, so 32 cross 32 horizontal filtering io buffer everything okay so we are not plotted it on the wave okay because uh, based upon the priority we can't show that okay links uh, synthesis part okay uh, so here the slice registers LUTs okay so all the parameters we are given okay and uh, this is a synthesis report here we need to check a delay so here delay will take a uh, 7.93 nanoseconds okay and uh, this is a RTL schematic for this uh, HEVC deblocking 64 cross 64 okay and inside of this architectures uh, control 64 cross 64 deblocking 32 cross 32 and IO buffer unit 64 cross 64 okay so this 32 cross 32 will have horizontal filtering horizontal filtering and uh, this one is a vertical filtering model and uh, this one is IO buffer and uh, this one is IO buffer for vertical okay so I will open one uh, horizontal filtering okay actually the horizontal filtering model and vertical filtering model will be same okay uh, we are called the two times of this component okay so so this inputs uh, we are given right uh, from the input uh, part of entity and <coughs> this is the edge filters okay after this edge filter uh, we are given the data to demultiplexes okay so initially the data will loaded into the multiplexes okay the multiplexes given it on here okay so this multiplexer output will given into edge filters okay okay so this edge filters will given the output to demultiplexer okay and demultiplexer finally given it to transpose block okay so instead of this edge filter we have two modules one is decision making and filtering samples okay so decision making will have uh, the conditions okay so condition block one and condition block two okay and controller okay and uh, this is a filtering samples it will have uh, normal filter data path filter data path uh, data zero and normal filter data zero okay so all the things okay and uh, so this is a final comparisons okay so the comparisons of existing 3 36 cross 36 and 68 cross 68 to propose 32 cross 32 to 64 cross 64 okay so these are all the comparisons we will be take uh, LUTs slice registers IOBs delay fan out and power frequencies everything okay so here we are drawn a chart also okay so here compared to the existing and proposed uh, everything will be reduced okay and this is a delay and this is a edge filters and uh, transpose based comparisons okay and uh, simulation outputs and uh, this is a MATLAB image output okay I will show yeah this is a MATLAB image output here the input image we are loaded okay uh, and uh, it will take uh, uh, the PSNR value is 32.01 as an input and 32.346 as an output okay and SSM will take 0 0.996392 okay you can change any images as an input okay it's not a problem okay so but image size we need to uh, take a 64 cross 64 okay mm, thank you